Hi guys, welcome back to Just Aviation and today I'm going to be unboxing the Qantas Airbus A380 in the new Silver Roo livery made by Gemini Jets. If you're a long time supporter you will know this is my very first Gemini Jets model and that I haven't had any in the past. Um, I bought this model off eBay for around $90 so decent price for the Gemini Jets A380 and yeah I'm very very excited about it. Um, so yeah, let's get started with the unboxing. I'll first give you a bit of a detailed review of the box design. So here's the Gemini Jets logo or trademark. The slogan of Gemini Jets made for collectors by collectors. The digitalized image, Qantas trademark, Airbus A380, well, it's Airbus's trademark as well. Um, the red tab over here that says 1 to 400 scale diecast model aircraft. The registration of the aircraft, BHOQF. In fact, I've seen this plane in real life. I'll just put some footage up right about now. Yeah, that's basically the front of the box. It's pretty simple. Um, you probably noticed that this isn't the normal Gemini Jets box colors, which are generally a dark blue or a navy blue. But um, because this is a pro official product of Qantas and Gemini Jets, it's got a bit of a special design. Um, pretty much every side of the box is the same. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same. And yeah. So here is the tab, the famous Gemini Jets tab. If you'd like to read it, um, please pause now. Yeah, so this tab basically has lots of specs about the aircraft and yeah. And here's inside the box. Um, so now I'll just unbox it real quick. ages to open um definitely harder than the phoenix ones but it's also protecting something very precious so i guess it was worth it as you can tell it's in the usual um dark blue casing that gemini jets aircraft come in um it's got two pieces of plastic so that's pretty reassuring so yeah just to protect it and yeah i'll just pull out the model now an extremely long time to do so yeah that's why I had to do that yeah it's very very hard to pull out that's for sure um, yeah so here is the aircraft first words about it stunning absolutely stunning 
It's an amazing looking aircraft and model. It's just it's so cool. Um, yeah, so I'll just give you a bit of a detailed review about it. Um, so, just mind you, it's the service side. So, here's the cockpit nose. It's got quite a bit of detail with the pitot tubes. It's got the um, name of the aircraft, which is Charles Kingsford Smith, which is the name of Sydney International Airport. Um, it's got um, the register of the aircraft on the nose, which is VHOQF, or on the tires that I mean here. Yeah. You've got the L1 door, it's got some small details that you might not be able to see, but that's got the One World logo. logo. Um, you've got the Qantas titles, a couple of windows, um, an antenna here, which is pretty cool. Um, the L2 door, um, the wing, the two, two of the four Trent 900 engines, um, which have the Qantas Rue on it, um, the Rolls Royce emblem, um, then we've got the red winglet, and yeah, now we're back to the fuselage again, we've got the L3 door, or L4 door, I'm not quite sure, because of the A380, we've got another antenna, um, a fifth door, and a sixth door, and a lot more windows, um, we also have the Airbus A380 logo, We've got more windows, and then we've got the registration of the aircraft, VHOQF or Victor Horstrot Oscar Quebec Foxtrot, and the Australian flag. We've got the silver band, and we've got like the sixth or seventh door, I can't count, <laughs> yeah. Um, we've got the amazing tail, which is absolutely stunning. Um, we've got the vertical stabilizer, and yeah, we've got the horizontal stabilizer as well as the register, uh, the first, two, the last two um, letters of its registration QF. Um, over here we've got the APU exhaust, and that's very well made. I have to say this model is stunning so far. It's really, really good. Didn't expect this from Gemini Jets because I've heard a lot of bad things about them recently. Though I'm very reassured I want to buy more from them. Um, yeah, probably not the A320 either. Yeah, um, okay, so now I'm going to remove the aircraft from the back. And yeah, once again, vertical stabilizers, you can see all the ailerons and flaps, etc. etc. Um, yeah. And practically, it's the same on this side, just we've got some cargo doors. Um, a very small detail that you might not be able to see because of my views and the camera I have is that this has got the Qantas logo on the winglet which is tiny and I did not expect this from Gemini Jets to do this because on their BA A350-1000 they don't have the BA um, colors on the winglet and yeah I didn't expect it on this model so basically it's the same on this side just got the same doors and everything else just more cargo doors um, just going underneath the model, we've got the Qantas um, titles underneath, the landing gear, front land, back landing gear, some minor details underneath the engine and the Gemini Jets logo, which is very small, so I appreciate that Gemini Jets, uh, but yeah, stunning model. Um, so that's the end of the review, um, it's a lovely model. I'll give it a 9 out of 10 and yeah um, some upcoming news um, I've got three more models on order um, two of them should arrive by tomorrow and I'll review them maybe tomorrow and I've got another one which is a um, another small model coming from Hobby Co. so yeah other than that I hope you enjoyed this video um, and yeah thank you for watching Just Aviation Bye.